Today we're going to do some basic free machining and make a little brooch, just a simple brooch. So to set your sewing machine up for free machining, first of all you want to change the, the foot and we have to take the whole shaft off, it's not just a matter of clipping the foot off. So we're taking the screw out here and this is a, a darning or an embroidery foot that's got a spring. Some of them aren't sprung. Oh, um, and we'll just slot that under the screw. The little bar goes over the bar that holds the needle in place and then tighten that. If you don't have an open toe foot, you can always just take your foot completely off and, and not use a foot at all. The reason for using the foot is just it still feeds the material slightly. So that it doesn't hit the plastic, we'll turn it to the middle needle position and then turn the machine round and lower the feed dogs. And the feed dogs are usually on the back but they can sometimes be inside where the spool case is. And it's just a matter of putting the switch down, you'll see the feed going down. Now just try a little test piece first. Um, so starting with the needle down. And holding your fabric at all four corners. So to make the flower, I've got a, a pile of bits of felt here, any colour at all. I'm going to use the top colour, orange, and I have a darker colour for the back. So I have another piece of black felt here that I'm not putting on just yet. And just have them in a little bundle. We're going to turn it over to the back. And if you feel happier drawing a pattern, then just great big petal shapes that don't need to be directly followed, but just as a guide. I'm just going to go around the flower once with this and then turn it over. So to start, I'll just do a little sewn on the spot and back again, and then just go round. So I'm going to use some merino wool and angelina fibres just to change the felt and give it a bit more different colours on it so it doesn't just look like a felt brooch. All I'm doing is I'm not felting it, I'm just putting it on the top and when we go round the outline it will start getting embedded into the felt. Just teasing out little tiny bits. Kind of where you want to 
change the color a little bit. Okay. So start on one petal. I'm just going to go round and back and round and back and you want a kind of scribble effect so you don't need to completely cover the same line all the time. as fast as you can work this on the machine and slow movement. So we're starting to get a bit of a puffier effect because it's pressing in the felt and puffing it up now. I'm going to go round it with a, a top stitching thread. This one will go through the top, through the needle, or it should, but in case you're, you want to use embroidery thread or something like this, it's just a matter of filling the spool. So fill the spool with a top stitching and then working upside down. So I'll show you how to do that.
So when you're working with a heavier thread, if you can't get it through the needle, you can put it in the spool up to a certain thickness anyway and work upside down and just adjust your tension. I'm going to put the tension up slightly and that'll When I'm using a free machine foot, obviously the, the spacing of the stitches varies in how quick or how slow I push the material through. So if you feel easier going changing the, the machine back to an ordinary foot, and having more regular stitches, then that's an option as well. I'm just going to do this. Right. I'm just going to go right round the outline as near as I can get to it. Trying to move it quite steadily. I'm going to put a black back on it. So I'm going to change the spool just back to the black one again. And I'm only doing this because it gives it a nicer finished look on the other side. Just going to go in the room, try not to go in the top section. Now before I cut it out, I'm going to do some details on the front, so I've just threaded a full thickness of embroidery thread and I'm going to, I'm not going to tie a knot in it because we're going to do some French knots, so I'm going to start over here with a little one, go through just so it vanishes off the back. I'm twisting the thread one round the needle, holding the thread and then putting it right back and not in exactly the same hole but as near as. I 
and then to avoid any little stitch marks here, I'm just going to put the thread right through the middle of the, the piece and come out the front. Round the needle once. This time I'm going to do an elongated one, so I'm going to choose to put it in about a centimetre away from the original hole and pull it through. And the same again, putting your needle back in and choose the spot for it to come out the front. I'm going to cut them very thin. Okay, so I'm going to use a bit of the back colour, just a wee part of the scrap. A brooch back or a safety pin, whatever you have with you. And dark thread. Going to stitch down either side of the, the pin or the, the back, whatever you have. Just a few stitches to keep it secure. Little slip stitches right round the little square.
want to change my thread up to the top stitch colour, then just stitch the button on. Given we need to go through the top layer of felt for this because it's not actually securing anything other than the button. And then just trim all the little edges off it, and that's it finished. When love 